Hello and welcome to the, what's the name of the podcast? It's Under the Iron Flag. <laughs> you got we, it. We just want to read One Piece. We're finally we just back. Want to talk about One Piece. We just want to talk we're... about One Piece. It's been a while, but we're back. <laughs> we I are back. The intro. Podcast is just us reading it, and we're just silently reading it. <laughs> yeah. For an hour. <laughs> this week we are reading One Piece silently together. <laughs> in each other's I mean, presence every now and then I mean, one of us just goes to. whoa and then, yeah. and then that's it we don't even talk wow to each other. interesting <laughs> and we have, we'd have to do that though because it's been like two months yeah since aggro we might need us to oh, do that boy, 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 i don't remember what we're doing uh, i read the i read this chapter like a month ago now probably <laughs> i read it like two weeks ago maybe because yeah. um, I kept forgetting to read it because I was so busy. But yeah, uh, I have some screenshots, back, but they're but... all out of context. <laughs> I mean, it's good that I did that AMV video then, you know, because it nice. kind of reminded me of all the the highlights of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you guys don't know, I uploaded on my YouTube channel recently. Whoa. Ooh. Uh, and it was just a. Uh... What website would that be? What channel would that be specifically? I mean. Well, uh, YouTube. Yes, uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> um, it's an embarrassing name. Flam Gangster. God, that's so embarrassing. Nice. I need to change it. Um, you can do that at any moment. <laughs> I, but I, like I know, but then I look at it and I'm like, it's so unique, though. And then I yes, keep it. Yes, it's good. And then I remember uh. how it sounds in English because it sounds cooler in Arabic. But it sounds like <laughs> it, it works. Um, and it's basically just like uh, if the Ennius Lobby arc was a Mission Impossible trailer. That's really cool. <laughs> I know. Have you guys seen it? I haven't yet. Uh, no, I'll have to check it out. I think I did. I know you showed me some of it. I don't know if I clicked on the full thing. Oh, you guys aren't my One Piece friends. <laughs> <That's bad. laughs> uh, Definitely yes. go to check that out if you're a big yes, fan do of that. One Piece. Yes. Uh, and Ennius Lobby in particular. Mm. It was a lot of fun to make. Lucian, you better watch it. I will, I will. I'll watch it as soon as we're done recording. <laughs> uh, Anyways. Yeah. Lucian, so, you self-promotion yeah. now. You do things, right? <laughs> self-promote what, things. What, what do people promote? What, I don't know. Do you, do you mean people do other content aside from this podcast? <laughs> Apparently, uh, I sure don't. Most of us. <laughs> <laughs> one third wow. of this podcast is just one person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got lost, uh, you know, vice captain trait. Uh, I, I did content. I got lost and I'm still lost, you know, <laughs> trying to find my way around. One day Lucian shall return yeah. to other content creation. Yeah, one day I'll find my way. <laughs> one day we'll we'll get to do that episode about that book that we yeah no like kidding reading. oh my gosh <laughs> but oh, yeah they're gonna read guys read that's what we did for this episode i agree there are pictures <laughs> it's the only way we can get aggro to read but mm-hmm. what we read was the second part of Ennius lobby yay uh, what chapters yeah. were those i even forgot i, I think no it idea. was 400 to 430 yeah, it was because I, I wanted it to be nice and even. I remember. Mm-hmm. Um, it might have been four hundred one to four thirty, but it it was around that. <laughs> <laughs> we're officially wait. We're going to get to the halfway point soon, right? Mm. <laughs> uh, how soon is soon? Well, yeah, soon. but we're almost at eleven 1, hundred. So. <laughs> really. Yeah, it's at like 1072. So. How can Oda write faster than us recording this podcast? Yeah. Can you believe He does that? get paid a very, very large amount of money. <laughs> Trust when me, we started if we this... got paid lots of money, we'd be doing it every day. <laughs> <laughs> when we started this, it was just a thousand chapters, and now it's a thousand one hundred. Almost, almost. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it keeps going. No signs. Of, I mean, actually, signs of stopping from what apparently. Definitely say signs of stopping. In a, in a long <laughs> Just time, not long soon. Not anytime soon. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Let's get back on topic. Yeah. 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 Um, and it's Hiren, I really. I know you forgot a lot, mm-hmm. but I want to know, like, what are your general thoughts about it this second part? Was pretty good. 
pretty good. Lots of fights Did we... I didn't care about, but some fights I did, and some good character moments as well. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I figured you would not uh, care or like most of the fights. Some were good. Uh... <laughs> some were good. Why would that be the case, though? Because you're a big fan of a. Evangelion, Evangelion, Okay, whatever. well, okay. Don't they Here, do a lot of fighting this, in that? Yeah, we're not going to talk about uh, <laughs> that. That will be a brand new, different podcast sometime. Uh, um, Agro will spend an hour talking about that if, if I, can, I will. I will do a whole him. podcast on just that. Oh, my God. But, don't uh, get him started, I mean, please. Just, <laughs> in general, I don't mean to be negative on we this podcast PTSD. about One Piece, but uh, I find, in general, a lot of the fights don't have real stakes to them uh so i do enjoy whenever st fights i feel do have stakes it's always very exciting and well written but wh when there are not i just can't f force myself to care about them punching things mm -hmm. that's I fair I, I i understand like especially like you're not I know you're gonna say oh i've read fairy i watch fairy tale but like <laughs> with the exception of fairy tale you're not really like a big shonen no, fan. No, my. Like... Uh, I guess you watched some of like my hero, um, mm -hmm. but uh, grand scheme of things, even though, even though you know, not like a Dragon Ball you fan. Listed, you didn't grow up with like Dragon Ball, with... Naruto, Bleach. You know, like yeah, yeah. you did not grow up in like the big three era of anime, um, right? Mm -hmm. No, not I didn't. So... Fairy Tale was my first anime, guys. Right. In 2016, so not... 17, whatever. Yeah, so I think lacking that, like, sort of context almost, you probably don't have the same, uh, I don't know. I, I think when you grow up having that uh, sense of, like, just cool fights are cool. Yeah. <laughs> you I, know? Yeah, that's, I... You have, I, like, a totally different sense of, like, why these fights are cool, uh, as opposed to, like, a story narrative, like, the narrative purpose of, like, the stakes to a fight, making a fight important. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, like, I can sometimes enjoy fights for the sake of fights, but it's in very particular circumstances. Mm -hmm. Like, I go to... I gotta I go disagree. To... Sorry. Oh, you... I gotta mm -hmm. disagree with both of you. I think there was these were really high stakes. Like, Some of you don't them get were. the keys. If you don't get the keys, then Robin isn't free because we don't know what key. Well, but that's the shackles their key are. That's where the problem is: is that those stakes exist, but nothing about this series would indicate there's even the slightest chance that any of them ever failed to do so. Right. Well, I, that's exactly Which, like uh, because of this the structure of the story you know that they aren't going to fail. Which, so like, like I don't want yes, in a hypothetical fail. world where like they do fail, mm -hmm. obviously there there's like there's the illusion of stakes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What you mean? Like yeah. up to this point they haven't failed at doing anything. Right? Like mm -hmm. not like, I don't... in a significant way. They haven't lost anything. They haven't, you know, like we haven't seen any stakes uh yet, right? Yeah, I kind mean, of that. I think pretty much dead. I mean most what was that? most <laughs> The Mary? Well, <laughs> rip, rip the boat. Well, <laughs> we'll get to that, that later. Uh, we'll get uh, to that later. But yeah, I think it's. I mean, I can a lot of the time. The again, when I go, I'm going to use it. I was going to bring it up. I'm going to use it again. When I go to see a John Wick movie, I don't think John Wick's going to die. You're not going to kill off the character that's the franchise's name after. Uh, but it they make they have other things to make the fights interesting being the choreography and sound effect and acting. And in this, in this is a very different scenario, but it's also just in general, very rare that I enjoy manga fights in particular. Mm -hmm. Like I can, I have before, but even in my favorite, uh, m manga attack on Titan, uh, any, t like any time, that scenario happens i can i've still been in that scenario even in that where i go well okay which person is going to punch the other person harder so i can get onto mm -hmm. the good stuff mm -hmm. which no i, I understand mm -hmm. I, again i don't agree but i understand you know mm -hmm. like i i totally see where you're coming from and yeah i i just don't think one piece is that kind of series where it takes stakes seriously 
You know, like you said, John Wick movie, you know John Wick's not going to die. In One Piece, you know the Straw Hats aren't going to lose, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's just like I think for me it's the fact I don't th- I don't want it to be a series where I think they could lose, I guess. I want it to be a series that makes me think while I'm reading the fight that it could happen. Like But it's not that kind of series. Like I know, and that, I think that's a negative personally. <laughs> like I I de- denote it for that. It's like I'll use I'm trying to think of another fighty anime what's a good fighty anime where they have fights mm, bleach okay that i've seen. seen it lucian <laughs> uh i don't know movie? you don't like jojo's i don't well no i like jojo you know what actually that's Jojo a good has one. stakes actually. let's talk, argue actually about has jojo. actually early early jojo's parts would you you did like uh, well, so I, that's the thing i like them sometimes you know what i didn't like part three's person <laughs> of the week i don't care about that person <laughs> that person's not gonna live the only one that, like, <laughs> every now and then, they like, uh, Whole Horse was great. He was awesome. And, like, I, you know, sometimes I thought they would lose. And sometimes they did. I don't know why people I'm... like Whole Horse. Whole I Horse is awesome. Normal. Look, I'm very excited to <laughs> watch He's part four edgy. so I can read the Whole Horse and Josuke spinoff manga. <laughs> that sounds like uh, the coolest pairing that. ever. But let's talk but about One Piece. Let's talk about One Piece, like the name oh. of the podcast. Is it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, we just want to talk about One Piece, but we haven't done much of that Apparently. this week. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think for me what I think for me Water 7 was just like so stressful and so like anxiety inducing like for me as a kid, I guess when reading it or watching it that that Anius Lobby is just like a this pump like yeah let's go and like you you ride that wave with them and you feel like even if you know that they're not gonna lose it still feels good when luffy beats a bluno or 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 zoro beats kaku or when uh sanji beats uh the the wolf guy i forgot his name Jabra. Jabra, mm-hmm. which is my favorite fight in any slavi sanji versus Jabra, um or when nami beats up kali you're just like you feel pumped like or f- like Robin is getting her revenge against the world government through her friends, you know, because we have yeah. the backstory. So I honestly, Enius Lobby is one of my favorite arcs. It's gonna, I know we're gonna rank it or whatever at the end, but it's number one. Um, mm-hmm. And it's because of this like cathartic, like we've been going through all these emotions this whole yeah. time, and he sets that up so well, so that when we do get to Enius Lobby, we don't even care that they're winning because it just feels so good. And yeah, I would agree. I think that the fights are meant to be catharsis. Yeah. Even like the shooting the flag, you know, yes. like getting her backstory. But then we take a break due to the like form of the podcast. And so <laughs> we don't then get that catharsis. We took sort of like an extended break between uh, yeah, the yeah, emotional buildup and then just fight, 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 fight. Instead of, you know, build up, build up, build up, release. It was yeah. then build up, build up, build up. <laughs> pause fights <laughs> <laughs> I, which i think it's it's really good that i did that video because i went through like what happened in any lobby and her past in the beginning like trailers do you know and mm. then i did all the cathartic stuff at the end and it just like uh it felt so good when i finished editing that because that's that's mm. what the water seven and any lobby are meant to be they're meant yeah. to be like uh uh chains of each other you can't you can't read any sloppy part two like Lucian said on its own, which is right. our fault. We didn't, we haven't been <laughs> with our schedule and stuff like that. But I understand Iron's perspective, but I think he's thinking about it in the wrong way. That's fair. Uh, again, I think the the purpose of it, like we said, is sort of uh, meant to be almost like a celebration, uh, like this cathartic release uh, from the the build up you know um which is why you know obviously there are some like tense fights um some some good fights as well um but we also have like you know luffy versus bluno where he just absolutely dominates him you know <laughs> especially because all these agents have been like talking down to the straw hats they've been like robin doesn't deserve to live She's like trash, like especially Lucci, specifically Lucci and uh, 
and uh, I can't remember who else, but there were like two agents. I think Blue No, I think it was Blue No, who was like, she doesn't deserve to live. Like she's been, oh, that guy from their leader. What's his name? Spandom. He's the one. Yeah, Spandom. Like, no, Spandom, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> he kind of, well, it makes sense that he's their leader because he kind of encompasses all their ideas into one person, right? Like all of them are slightly like, oh, whatever. We don't care. It's just a mission. But they're also like, oh, she doesn't deserve to live. At the same time, like, and then the audience member is like, what gives you the right to say that? And so when we see the Straw Hats, like, proving them wrong by being stronger and caring for her, it, it kind of shows the villains that they are not in the right. Like, you can't just go and decide somebody shouldn't exist just because they got a degree in archaeology, right? Or it's bad mm -hmm. for the government, you know? It sucks to be you then, you know? You can't just, like, manipulate the world into thinking that and that's what the world government does and we're seeing that on a micro level on a macro level as well i mean uh, which uh, i know i'm singing its phrases but iron if you have anything you don't like what i'm saying let's have a debate uh, I mean, okay <laughs> the problem the problem here is that i'm not knowledgeable enough i do not remember enough detail to argue <laughs> with you on p most points so okay. I know I like I don't want to start an argument that I know is going to end up. I say argument. Let's say uh, we'll say debate because I don't. I'm, this is weird to say. I don't care in in that like I don't want to. I don't want to change your opinion. I mean, yeah. Like like no. uh, but do you? Here you go. Do you want to go to like the specific fights then? Uh, yeah, like, we can do, do that, and we'll see which know? ones I remember. Okay. Uh, let's go through them. Mm -hmm. The first fight is is Nami, I think, versus uh, the hair guy. Uh, the Jabra? hair guy. No, no, the hair guy, the pink haired, the one that Chopper ends up beating up. Fukuro. Fukuro, there you go. He's he's my favorite design out of the CP9. He has my favorite quirk. <laughs> His quirk is that he. Uh, Whenever he does something quote unquote dishonorable, he'll disembowel himself like Senpoku style. But mm -hmm. then he does the whenever he goes to do the Senpoku, like cutting up his stomach, he does Tekai, which is the the technique they use to harden themselves. And then he's like, I can't kill myself. My mother is in heaven and she's watching over me. Wow. No, that's not Fukuro then. Fukuro's the big guy with the 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 like. Oh, Chapapa guy. Yeah, no, no, no. Or Fukuro is the him? zipper lips. Um. Then who's the pink haired guy? Uh, I I was reading in black and white. Okay, I'm gonna I'm, oh. gonna, I'm gonna be honest. Sorry. Uh, wait, you're saying all these things. I remember Pinocchio, Girl, and Tiger Man, and uh, the other <laughs> three existed. Kumadori is who I you're talking about. Is it uh, the guy like the guy Luffy fought at the end? Kumadori is the guy with like the the um, Kabuki style aggro. Like no, he has him. the super the, super the long guy hair who and the a leopard or whatever. That's, that's Lucci. Jaw. Well, that's the, that's Lucci, I guess. Yeah, guy. I guess Leopard is Lucci. is Lucci. That's it. That's it. Jabra was, is the wolf. Okay, I'm remembering him now. He was actually uh, like his back. Really his, cool. His setup was cool. His setup. Was yeah. Cool. Yeah. Did we ever get his backstory? We do. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. 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 I forgot. He killed all those people. He killed like oh, hundreds okay, of people okay. on a ship. Yeah. So we got that backstory. Okay. Okay. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I remember it in the anime, but I don't remember reading it. Mm -hmm. It's been a while. Since I read, yeah, it's towards the end of the arc. Right, right. Everyone, well, like all of the sailors, are about? terrified of him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the vice admiral is talking about that story, like he's mm. the one who remembers the report or whatever. Yeah. Okay, um, but... fine. Um, <laughs> I think it is Kumadori, the guy with the the it guy is. with the long hair has pink hair. Yes. Yeah. I uh, read it in color, and he like Nami, like he fights Nami for like two seconds. And then, but Nami just steals the key off him. She doesn't even fight him. Uh, she does get absolutely bodied, though. <laughs> yeah, no, she can't. She can't handle him. So Chopper has to come in, and even Chopper can't win against him. Chopper then also win. gets absolutely bodied. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> does he use two Rumble Balls in yes. that fight? So if you eat three, no. Which he, he does. Three. No, no, no. He used two against Kumadori, and then he he ends up in a point later against. Um, because he ends up in the same room with with Frankie in the kitchen. The kitchen, yeah. Um, with uh, uh, what, what's who's Frankie fighting? It's the Fukuro. Yes, Chapapa. 
Well, that's Kumadori. Um, but then there's... Oh, no, you're right. You're right. That's... Yeah, that's Fukuro. I just call him Chup Papa guy. I don't know what he says. <laughs> uh, you know I, I think... Iron? It's the zipper lips guy. No. Yeah. Mm. Really, uh, really, like, big, round oh, yeah, yeah, guy. That guy. That guy. Yeah, I remember him. <laughs> what did he do? Yeah. He fought Frankie. He... If you say yeah, so. He... <laughs> he fought Frankie and oh, then like, Chopper so ate a third rumble ball. Problem realizing here by looking at these screen all the screenshots I took. I read like the first half ish of the arc about two weeks before the second half. Yeah. So you did. I'm remembering that even less. Yeah. <laughs> we all have memory loss this episode. Yes. <laughs> this is the amnesia you. arc of the podcast. Yes. <laughs> We'll be back. Um, okay, so it, they're all in the kitchen, and yeah, the and then Chopper the pops hair, the third Rumble Ball. No, the guy with the long hair gets locked in the fridge. Remember, and then they have yes. the tag where like, he's giving Frankie's him like, his "I cola. need cola," <laughs> wow. and he gives him like veggie I have juice. A, uh, and... need yeah, cola. I have a a uh, you know flaccid pompadour and i i need more power and he keeps <laughs> just getting like vegetable juice and you know chopper being a scientist is like what if i give him this how about how about that what about this <laughs> <laughs> that part was funny um and so he can't like look for the cola properly because he locked the guy with the long hair in the fridge right so he keeps having to close it quick <laughs> he eventually uh, gets it to him <laughs> Iron, what did you think of this fight <laughs> from the way we're describing it mm, to you? Uh, apparently it was uh, forgettable. Is, is <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I like, it's, it's been a while. I, I yeah. don't not remember Frankie being in a fight <laughs> at all. He yes. blasts him into the ocean. Yes. Um, I forgot that that happened, where he's, like, they're fighting in the air. I feel like I'm sounding overly down. negative, but I legit just forget. It's just... Oh. It's been a while. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't think... It, if it sounds like you're being negative, uh, yeah, no, I not. would like to back up. You're not attempting to be. It I'm has not just attempting been a to be negative. Oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then yeah, Chopper pops his third rumble ball. And yes. we get the introduction of uh, his monster form, which is super, super cool and has one of the best introduction pages ever. Uh, it's so it sick. Scary. So cool. It was scarier in the manga than it was in the anime. For oh, me. yeah. It's terrifying. <laughs> what did you think about that introduction to, to Chopper Beast Mode? Uh, that was Do you remember it? Yeah, I remember, I remember <laughs> that. Weird. Yeah. I was kind of wondering at some point, like, what are they going to do with Chopper? Because he kind of just doesn't really have anything going for him right now. For a character arc, I mean. Mm -hmm. Like, each each of them have their own goals and things. And I guess he had the least tangible of the group currently. Um, really? I think so. What I mean, do you think his goal is? Uh, If I remember correctly, isn't it just to see the world and help people in general? Um, did, he does he ever state a goal? Professor. Yeah, when he, like when they're leaving, yes, he, he wants does. to see the world because of the uh, professor. Uh, listen, I I have a note written down. I don't want to say it if say if it. if they haven't. That's why. So Sapphire, you can say it if they, uh, I have, have something written down. I just I believe it's to like basically become the world's greatest doctor and to try to like find a cure to every ailment. Okay, he had the least um, tangible find... goal. Uh, it's specifically uh. to find a an. A cure for each ailment, like you said, not to be right. the greatest doctor. Right. Cure okay. all diseases. You know? Nice. Uh, he can do it one day. Um, <laughs> but no, well, what if I mean they go is around more the whole like, world on like the you know, then I guess you know, what eventually I mean is more inner turmoil, <laughs> like inner conflict, which most of the cast have. Zoro. Uh, why did I go? Why did I say his name and then think? What did I say the name wrong? No, uh, <laughs> is it Zoro? Zoro, Zoro had. Since I knew Sans, you guys were gonna make that joke. Since we had a uh, vampire man, I'm forgetting the name of right now. Uh, Dracula. Mihawk. Mihawk. Dracula Mihawk. Dracula Mihawk. Uh, since him, like there has been that's been Zoro's inner conflict, uh, going forward. Um, you know they've each had their own thing. Obviously, Usopp at the forefront, and Robin. 
uh, were both very, very much at the forefront of the this arc. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I think other than Sanji, uh, Chopper had, like, the least of a inner conflict, and I feel like that is a big evil monster form uh, can get the ball rolling for that. Yeah, uh, we'll see. I'm interested. Because we didn't really, if I remember right, we didn't really get any follow-up to that from Chopper, right? We saw a flashback. Um, okay, yeah, that's right. That's to, right. He, he did it. He As he was experimenting with creating the Rumble Ball, he ate three back on Drum Island. And he was recovering in Kreha um, in, in her, uh, you know, like, bed or whatever. And she basically told him, like, listen, do not do that again mm -hmm. unless your life is on the line because you cannot distinguish between, like, friend and foe in that. And yeah. you are extraordinarily deadly. Um, which is true because he not only takes out uh, Fukuro. Or does he take out Fukuro? He, Frankie launches Fukuro into, like, the ocean or something. And I believe Fukuro recovers, as does Frankie. And he knocks both of them. Yeah, like, that's right, way, that's right. way out. So, you know, we see right away Chopper cannot distinguish. I believe he might also take out uh, Kumidori. Like, he, he takes out a whole bunch of people. <laughs> Chopper he goes on a rampage. Out, but, like, after yeah, he, he goes, back to, after he goes yeah. back to Chopper form, we never really get a follow-up to that, like, from him. No. Okay. Has he... Is he conscious? I forget. Uh, he is conscious. Yeah. Okay, he, he is? Okay. Toe. Wasn't but sure. He, like, he but just... he can't move. Yeah, they didn't That's really have, it. like, Thank the... You. It wasn't time for it, you know. We There were other right. things to worry about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that'll be in an interesting thing. Surviving. Yeah. First mm -hmm. and foremost. Not dying. <laughs> Lots of characters yeah. to have at arcs. Let's not throw Chopper in there for no reason. <laughs> um, Everybody can then... take a backseat every now and then. So that was... Uh, before we, like, move on, I wanted to talk mm -hmm. about... Uh, this idea that I had, with the, specifically with the Frankie and Chopper fights, yeah. they reminded me kind of like the story of Frankenstein. Because in Frankie's case, he's like a cyborg and he experimented on himself. Oh, that's why he's I called Frankie, huh? <laughs> oh, huh. I guess Never so. caught that. I, I don't think that's the reason, but... Um, Could be. <laughs> it feels too Just close like to not be. It's too on the nose. Th their fight together with the CP9 members just it felt like... Like, there's Frankenstein, and then Frankenstein's monster, and then we have Chopper being the monster, and then we have Frankie, who's, like, the scientist, quote-unquote. Mm -hmm. uh, it just reminded me of that story. Yeah, no, that's an interesting uh, parallel. Just wanted to put that out there. Yeah, I would not have uh, made that connection, but that that is interesting. Uh, um... maybe, maybe Chopper would be, like, more Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, because... The, oh, that, yeah, yeah, because he has, like, that normal side and then the himself. crazy, you know, <laughs> yeah. uh, lunatic, uh, dangerous form, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and then Frankie's just, like, if Robocop was funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's a way to put it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but then we, we get to the other fights in, in this part of the series. We get uh, Sanji versus Kalipa, and I know Iron has thoughts about this, so I want to hear them. Uh, so basically, what happens is Sanji. Uh, do you Sanji... want to hear? <laughs> I do. So Sanji, he doesn't fight women. He can't hurt women. It's his policy. It's kind of like his thing where he doesn't uh, fight with his hands because those are his chef hands. Like those are the two things, the rules he has when it comes to fighting. And he ends up meeting Khalifa, and he totally, like, would have beaten her if he wanted to. Uh, but he can't. So he gets defeated by her newly acquired devil fruit. Um, and then Nami finds him at the bottom of the stairs, and she figures that he fought a woman, and so she's like, you're stupid. And she goes and she fights Khalifa in his stead. What did you guys think about that? I'll let okay. Agro uh, no, take it first. first. You go first. <laughs> I want Iron to go first. I yeah, I imagine we'll have the same wow. thoughts, so I you wonder, go ahead. I, I, I can imagine you know what I'm about to say, or at least you got to have a general sense. Uh, I hate mm -hmm. Sanji, and hope he get you are lying to me and he gets written out of the story. 
<laughs> he is uh, he uh, does not. a plague on this manga, and <laughs> it plague. would be better without him. <laughs> the end. Um, <laughs> why is that the case? Why do you think that? Because it's not an interesting character bit. It's a bad joke. If it was an interesting character like writing piece, maybe it could work. But it's not. It is just a joke. And therefore, I cannot take him seriously. Also, he hasn't had very much action. He has he had any actual character development since his introduction? Hmm, probably not. Yeah, like, no. He's, <laughs> he's had relationship stuff with group members. But on his own, he hasn't had anything since he got first introduced. No. My my thoughts on Sanji are the same as they always are. Uh, and I will avoid talking about him so that people do not click off of this podcast. And <laughs> to it. Um, honestly, I don't think that his chivalry is a joke. I mean, most of the time it is, but in this instance, it wasn't really played as a joke. It was played as a weakness that the enemy exploited and used to their advantage. I think, which... to me, that is like the thing, though, is that it's... He has no reason for it other than the joke. There's not a character reason. He's not... Like, it doesn't fit his character when he's being serious. I can deal with the That's funny fair. jokes. Like, it's if, just yeah. there. Like, we don't have a purpose for why he is that way. Yeah, like, I guess that's a fair Luffy is kind of dumb. And, uh, well, you know, he, he gets every now and then. Uh, he, I'm not a big fan of Luffy every now and then. He's probably my favorite character. Second favorite, one of them. He's in. He's up there, but uh, like the dumb stuff works because it makes the serious parts better. Like he can be dumb in fights because of his power, and it works. Mm -hmm. And then when he is serious, it adds more yeah. weight to it. Sanji doesn't get to be serious. Uh, he and there's no. It doesn't add anything. Other I mean, I think me. there are to moments me. when Sanji has cool, like, really cool again. moments. Sorry. There are moments when Sanji has, like, really cool moments, but the the chivalry, the, like, uh, not, the not fighting Khalifa thing always rubs me the wrong way. It's like you're actively putting your friends in danger yeah, and by Robin, doing this. specifically. Right, like you're here to protect your your it friends and to save your and to save Robin's for, life. For him, like, e even though I don't like that version of him and wish he was slightly different, it feels out of character for that, to me. To put Robin in danger. Yeah, I mean, but that's exactly it. It's a character flaw that he has. Right. But they don't. Tr but and it's, he doesn't it's... even. He doesn't even tell anybody that he loses to her like Nami figures out for himself. Mm -hmm. So if he if Nami didn't figure out that he didn't fight Khalifa, then then, yeah, we wouldn't have one of the keys, which is very detrimental, which is a bad like it's a character flaw that he has. That's mm -hmm. bad. That's, it would. Which is it, why I love it, because Sanji isn't invincible. Like he has a character flaw that isn't like a weakness or something like that. It's like his personality and he won't like he's too stubborn to fix that. You know, see, like I would, I would enjoy it if they ever actually treated it like that. The writing never does; it only treats it as a joke. But it did it in this instance. It didn't treat it as a joke in this instance. That is definitely supposed to be a funny thing you laugh at. What? Absolutely. Like that, that is a uh, one hundred. Yes, I know. I mean, it's not... I could be wrong. Be I absolutely think that is supposed to be a joke. If it's being trying to be treated seriously, I might like it less. I mean, when he's like sitting down having tea with her instead of fighting, uh -huh. that does come off as a joke and not like a oh, serious like, yeah, moment. That part, that part is the joke. I'm thinking of when he actually tries to fight her. Like those parts, yeah. I I feel like that is. But he doesn't to try to absolutely. fight her like at all. <laughs> he like defends himself against her. And then he's about to kick her, but he, like, misses on purpose, and he's like, give me the key. Oh, well, that he does do, yeah. He, like... He's trying not to, like, like right. I would show her that he... he has that weakness, but she figures out pretty quick. 
I would be like be fine if he wanted to not fight her for those reasons and then had to because like just bust down the door and leave. Yeah, or or anything <laughs> like that. But instead, it's a I will instead let myself beat up and let Robin maybe uh, get away because it's I guess to me it is I do not think I don't think the joke mixes with the serious stuff well. If I either of them on their uh, on their own arcade, okay, not my kind of joke. I'm not a big fan of it, but I can deal with it on its own. It's when they try to mix it with serious stuff that it doesn't work. On top of it, I don't like. Uh, we're gonna go continue on to this. The only reason Nami gets anything to do this arc is because uh, Sanji is Sanji. Yeah. I I like what Nami got to do. We'll talk. I really like her fight. Yeah, I like her yeah. fight. Outside of the, I'll be honest, I don't like the power. The power's really dumb. But which power? Uh, uh what's her name? Girl. Oh, Kalifa. Uh, yeah. It's yeah, kind of bubble dumb. bubble fruit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think it's, it's my it's least fun favorite dumb. double fruit in the series. Yeah, I think the purpose think one that's one is to show like that. that, like, it, it's a play on that, like, quote from um. Who was it? Was it Spandom? No, it, it, Spandom's not useful. It, it must have been Luchi. Where you, Luchi says to, like, you know, Kaku and Khalifa when there's the two fruits in, in uh, the first half of Enya's lobby, like, hey, we have two fruits you can take. Um, you're not going to get weaker. Like, you're already incredibly strong assassins. If you eat these fruits, they will not make you weaker. It was basically what he said. Outside of swimming. Uh, well, that, mm -hmm. yes. Um, but, you know, for incredibly deadly assassins, is it worth the the sacrifice? Probably. Um, and so we get sort of two, like, jokey fruits, right? Like mm -hmm. a giraffe and bubbles, right? Yeah. Like things that are just useless, right? Like completely and utterly objectively worthless, but all, all, you see she how to she only lost because Nami because because she had bubbles. If she did not eat the devil fruit, she would have won against Nami, I believe. That's fair, yeah. She she might have actually won against like Nami in I particular. Mean, she that was a bad lost matchup. Against someone else instead, but yeah, right. Uh, aside from Sanji, um, but you know, <laughs> you know um, for like a CP nine member it's almost assuredly going to make them stronger. And mm -hmm. I think the purpose of those fruits was to show, um, to show that, you know, that um, for a CP9 member, they're going to take those worthless fruits and show how strong they are. Right. Um, I think that's why they had such like jokey, useless fruits. Yeah. I think that worked for, for sure. And like, they were still treated as serious threats after that. Like I am, I'm, I'm. I don't think it'll happen. But I was kind of worried that they would eat the devil, th devil fruit, and then, and then would be, oh no, I am, uh, I don't know, I am Jello, I can't walk. <laughs> there it turns out there are bad devil fruits, but no, they're all like upgrades for the well, in a way, at least. Yeah, I think it, you know it depends on the user, right? Like, um, yeah, yeah, but. I, you know, I also so like, far they've all been upgrades. This is something I probably got established uh, a really long time ago. But I, I, it's kind of dumb. But I actually really like the, uh, like once you eat the devil fruit, you know the name of your power and what it does. You yeah, just know I never thought about that. You're right. Yeah, it's because like, like there are some devil fruits that like people don't know about, right? Like, but do you think the user th names the fruit? No. Absolutely not. No? Do they, you think they just, they, like, inherently they, actually, they, then I know? I think they talked about it this arc in that same conversation you were talking about when they got their fruit. Did they? Is that, like, you know the name of your fruit when you get it. I, I could be wrong, that? but I believe they I, talked about I, it. I don't know. That. They might have. I'm pretty sure. I, rem I remember that. Somehow. <laughs> but I, I, do, uh, I do like that. It's like a, it is a dumb thing, but it's fun. Mm-hmm. It's a fun I honestly world thought, building bit. Mm -hmm. I honestly thought uh, Kaku was kind of lame with the giraffe. Giraffe? Thing. Uh, yeah. Him annoying. being a giraffe was kind of lame, but he still. He was still threatening. Like, he worked with it. Yeah, he was threatening. Yeah. I didn't say he wasn't, but it was kind of oh, yeah. just like. 
okay, I get it. You're a giraffe. Like, but he kept being like, but I am a giraffe. And it's like, yeah, we get it. You're oh, a giraffe. He's right. Like, but look at my giraffe. Wow. It's right. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. We understand. <laughs> and he kept telling people that he liked that he was a giraffe. And it's just like, he's dude. just coping. He's <laughs> 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 coping with his new reality. <laughs> Do you yeah. think Usopp will uh, become inspired by Kaku and be able to use like that nose pistol move in the future that oh, Kaku uses as a giraffe? So annoying! It was so stupid. <laughs> he's he's got it. He's got the looks. I didn't like his fight with Zoro this time around. I don't know. Usually I do like Zoro fights, but this one was just like lame. The slashing parts worked. The giraffe parts didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Zoro parts um, of the fight were good. The giraffe parts were not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like we we were introduced to so many, like I, I know we're kind of skipping over some parts, and we can we that's can go gonna, back to them. That's but like, gonna happen. <laughs> like we were, Eni's lobby is so sick because we were introduced to like so many character defining moves in combat. You know, like we'll we'll go back to uh, I'll mention some later, but like Diablo jammed. You know, like uh, the best move in the whole series. You mean? <laughs> it's a very good I one. Love that. Which is like My favorite uh, moment in any lobby. For for aggro, that's that's Sanji's like fire kick. Um Zoro that. has his nine sword like Ashura. Yes. Um it's also a good moment. He uses like a, a Phoenix move as well. I don't I'm not entirely sure which one, but like you know monster uh form for, for Chopper, like the the climb attacked the Kabuto for for Usopp, you know, like, and then we'll get to Luffy's stuff later. But th there's just it feels like we see what the crew can do in combat, like going forward. You know, like we're getting introduced to like their arsenal of of their moves, right? Moves. Like, yeah, yeah. Yes. Like we're we're starting to get like drip fed, like, hey. Here is their finishers. Like you, you remember these names because <laughs> you're gonna get used to them. Like gum gum pistol levels of like iconic, you know. Um, and it's it is cool so, to get yeah. like see them earn that over time as they get yeah they get yeah more fights and they get stronger. It's a yeah, cause right. positive long form media like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Zoro said in parts one of Enius Lobby, he's like, we've all like despite not knowing it, we've all grown whether it be in strength or in mind, uh, mm -hmm. over our journey. So, and this is just the culmination of all of those things, you know? Yeah. Uh, Nami used the claim attack in, in Alabasta, and now she understands it better. This isn't her first time using it. And so I think now this is the perfect claim attack, too. Like, illusions. it's just an upgraded one uh, as well. Like, she understands it better, but Usopp upgraded it, so it's actually the the perfect claim attack. It's a, it's a higher-tiered yeah. version of it, you know? Um, and then, uh, I don't even know what's going on with Sanji. I remember, like, reading this, <laughs> oh. like, I always, like, think about, like, I think it's cool, and then I'm like, oh, did he raise the temperature of his foot without <laughs> burning his foot? Like, uh, I never yeah. don't worry about understood it. He that. Can't, he can't He's cooking. Harder. Just let him cook. <laughs> <laughs> what was he Let cooking? Sanji cook. <laughs> oh, my God. And, and then Zoro's is also another one where you're just like, wow, that is so awesome. But then it's you think so about sick. it, and it's like... How did he create like two? He's other moving heads? so but fast cares, that cool. that's how Is he's that moving it? too fast that it creates the illusion of nine swords in an Ashura sure? form. Uh, that that's, that's my head canon. Uh, <laughs> is that he's so threatening and so fast that he creates like his his uh, enemies think that he you know looks you know. <laughs> Like, you know, at least That's for the... Frankie and Chopper oh. and Nami, you, like, you understand how they got that power. It's, like, scientific. Well, that's the plot you twist know. Uh, we find out in the final chapter is that Zoro was a devil fruit user the whole time. <laughs> Even arms. Luffy's, like, makes sense, you know? Yeah. Like, in their own way, you they have their what? own logic. I'm now thinking, I'm, man, I thought of a cool idea and now it won't happen because he already has nine arms. What if Robin <laughs> grew arms onto Zoro? <laughs> and then had swords. I don't know if she has the skill to wield the sword but in the Zoro same way he does. But Zoro could do it for her. <laughs> oh, guys, remember when Usopp oh. became his sword for two seconds? That was yeah, very funny, that was, actually. That was uh, not bad. 
was not bad. The, like, they're just cuffed, and he's like, you're worthless, be my sword. <laughs> I'm not running around dragging you, become my arm. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the anime does it better just because there's voice acting on it. And well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the is being carried, he goes, like, they do, like, the big scene, like, you know, in in movies where they do, like, the big reveal. And the big reveal is just Usopp. We showing off his arm strength, <laughs> so or, is funny. It, or is it Zoro in this case? And then Usopp goes like he does the sound effect for when you see like a sword, like shigang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Before we get too far off of swords and devil fruits and stuff, I was thinking like towards the start of of things, right? Like Spandom has his sword transformed into an elephant, uh, and then like vice versa, right? So, like, I know, Ele like, it's been established, like, weapons can gain the powers of Devil Fruits, like, right? Like, that was established back in Alabasta. But how do you feed a weapon a fruit? Like, is it a different method for every weapon? Or do you just take a fruit and, like, cut it with the Stab weapon it. or, like, shove it onto the weapon? Yes. But, like, what about, like, what was it, a gun? Do you just shove the, yes. the like, you just shove it down, a, like, a gun barrel uh -huh. and you fed it? <laughs> of course. Like... And Why what? Do you ask questions who was the first person the to do that? Like Black you dude. have a devil Wait, fruit. No. Uh, I'm sorry. What's his name? The man. The 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 guy. D. The, the guy. guy. D. Uh. You... The main mm -hmm. pirate man. Marshall D. Teach. Nope. The original. Is that him? Oh, the original Roger. Roger. Roger D. Gold D. Roger. Gold yeah. D. Roger. That's his name. Roger yes. D. Gold. <laughs> him he did it uh, he did everything um i mean i actually everything. have a theory with with the context that i have now in the theories, series i, don't know but I won't say it because then it'll um okay. boil stuff so Can we I'm talk about that's fair now? i guess if you're talking about like the most recent arc mm -hmm. then <laughs> maybe you could have a theory yeah. but like if who is like Here's an incredibly valuable devil fruit. I'm gonna cut it. <laughs> like, why? Eat it. it. Use it. Don't don't waste this devil fruit on a multiple, weapon. Right? Well, then you can be able to swim now. Like, Spandam can Wait, swim. That's fair, but Spandam's worthless any... anyways. You you can't have multiple ones, right? No, uh, you cannot. You no, you cannot okay, eat then someone, multiple devil someone fruits. Someone who already has it and doesn't want Pete with someone getting it. That's a really good point. Wow, I yep. didn't think about that. You got it. Wow. I, I figured it Everybody's out. I'm a genius. You've solved it. <laughs> You've solved the equation. Going to use this genius to transition us to talking about Luffy because I really want to. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, why, why, not in, this isn't a negative. Luffy's fights were very good. Why did Luffy get two power-ups in one arc? Uh, because awesome. it was actually hinted at before. Uh, was it, I think it was... Uh, when was it? There's During a the point. With Bluno. Thank you. With Bluno, he mm -hmm. sticks his like finger in his mm -hmm. mouth and oh. says "gear," and then Bluno's passed out. He's like, "Oh, well, whatever." <laughs> and then he turns into a titan. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Okay, I do not remember that. Yeah. No, he uh, didn't turn to a titan. Well, no, no, no. But just yeah. like the the gear part. <laughs> no, and I then do, we I finally actually the see him use it against mm -hmm. the steel doors. Um, blocking his path to Robin without getting a key. He's like, who needs keys anyway? Gear 3. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> I'm not complaining too much. As long as this doesn't continue at this pace. Uh, it doesn't. Okay, cool. It does that's not. It. This is the only uh, well, where we that's, get two uh, power-ups for Luffy. I'd imagine. Uh, 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 but is, they were both is. very cool. Shocker. For big Luffy gear mm. fans... It is a long and Luffy arduous gear. fight. gear. The sequel to Guilty <laughs> Gear. Yes. <laughs> it, it, it is... Uh, mm. People just, like... It's so bad that people are just, like, waiting for the next gear to come. Like, even yeah. though a gear comes, Fan people art. are like, what, what's <laughs> the next gear the... gonna be? Bro, it's just the Super Saiyan. It's just the be. One Piece Super Saiyan, you know? Okay. It's like, but okay, no, it's not. Goku Super is... Saiyan, Goku Super no. Saiyan 2, Goku Super Saiyan 3, Goku disagree. Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan God 2, <laughs> Ultra Instinct! <laughs> I'm gonna defend One Piece and say it's actually mm. cool because it's not just a what number. Is? No, I the agree. Gears. 100%. Gear is, cool. gear is better than one. Gear is better than Super Saiyan. Krillin doesn't have to die every time for for, you know, uh Luffy to attain gear. Luffy just is like, 
intelligent. You guys know I have zero context for all the Dragon Ball. Oh, me either. I yeah. Watch no, Dragon neither Ball. does Agro. It's just <laughs> Goku's I, best friend has to die every yeah, single time he becomes Super about. Saiyan. Yeah. You know, it's like it, aside from a couple that times, can be cool. He doesn't earn it. No, the number <laughs> go know? up can be cool, but what is, is. cooler is yeah. uh, Luffy can now do more creative things. That's the With thing, right? Power. It's Luffy's imagination that allows him to become stronger, right? And there's consequences. He's not physically strong enough to keep up with what he's doing to his body, right? Like, there are significant consequences, right? Uh, his body gets tiny when he uses the Gear 3. Hero Academia theme. <laughs> <laughs> The only good thing about My Hair Academia. Okay, is that's stop and now. Todoroki and stop. and Endeavor. Everything oh, no. else is trash. I hate oh. <laughs> Hot takes. Uh -oh. Let's um talk about Luffy again. I love Luffy. <laughs> He's cool. Uh, his powers oh, are incredible. Show. No, you're you're good. Um, this is Mia. Oh, uh, <laughs> Luffy is really cool, is what I was saying. Uh, his mm -hmm. fights are cool. Uh, his opponents are lame. No. Look, what? The, okay. Yeah. okay, this was by far actually... the coolest because, like, combat-wise, it's... He's... Luffy's at his most competent and strongest, uh -huh. right? Yes. And his opponent is, like, by far his toughest, right? Like, okay, you can sure. argue this doesn't have, like, the same, like... Uh... I mean, I would say that, like, because of all everything going on with Robin, it has, like, the same emotional investment and stuff. But you could argue, like, okay, this doesn't have, like, the fate of a country riding on it, like, with, with Crocodile, right? But, like, or Arlong with Nami, right? But I think it has, like, the emotional stakes, right? But, like, pure fight-wise, this is the, the coolest fight in One Piece, in my opinion, like, so far. Probably, I think. It's, they're the two most competent fighters... Mm -hmm. fighting at like the highest level that we've seen so far like by far you know uh, i agree like 100 percent. i i'm the... i would so say cool. still say the best fight is crocodile uh i mean with the crocodile thing he was just like so smug and pompous about it but luchi like yeah, never what, underestimated like, luffy I think that was, it like, also got built up him. there were three crocodile fights right or two uh, three or two Three, exactly. So yeah. th there was like enough build up where it's like, you know, uh, he loses, you know, fight mm. one. He barely loses fight two. And then he comes back and wins fight three after like, Good you trip. know, Good fully. Trip. Right. And like fight two, he had the right idea with mm. the water. But then fight three, he like brings it to a new extreme, you know. Yeah. So, you know, but with with Lucci, it's just. I'm just gonna beat your ass, <laughs> you know. It's not like outthinking the opponent. It's just out beating the opponent. <laughs> and Luffy even says, like, I he he says I need to take out Luchi, otherwise you're gonna kill everybody else. So he knows that, like, tactical wise, he needs to keep him occupied. Otherwise, everybody else dies because that's Luchi's thing. He just kills everybody. Oh know? yeah. <laughs> he sure really, does. I really like that Luffy. Um, he's taking his role as captain a little bit more seriously, even if it's just in the "I know who I need to fight" kind of guy, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and it shows more trust in his crew too. You yeah. know, like he he's like, I trust you guys with doing X, Y, and Z. Even at like from the very start, right? Like he jumps right off the boat or the the train and. Uh, you know, goes takes on most of the marines, uh, clears Luchi a path. A key. He doesn't, but he's blocking yeah. Robin. Yeah. So without yes. Lucci being down, no one is getting Robin. You know, mm -hmm. it's because he's fighting Lucci that Frankie's even able to go deal with Spandam. Right. But... And we get that awesome Soga King moment. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, it was so great. It was that so, was like, that cathartic. was so good. He was finally Sanji. useful. Because Sanji's the one who tells him. He's like, you he's do like, what, what the hell are you do? doing here? You suck in fights. Go snipe. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to do what I can do. Because especially with like him losing to Khalifa, right? So he probably feels like super, you know. Uh, 
like not down. useless, but like down because yeah. of that, right? But the fact that he's mm-hmm. cheering on Ustop and he's like, listen, I can do I need to do what I need to do and you need to do what you need to do. And that's what Usopp was missing this whole time throughout Water Seven. Throughout like his entire journey with the crew. He always felt like he was useless, how like he should have been doing stuff like he should have been more more powerful or like but but that's not his role, right? His role is to snipe. And, right. For a guy calling that... himself Sniper King, he sure hasn't done a whole lot of sniping. <laughs> right. <laughs> so like when he when his sniping is the thing that saves the day, it's just so it's so awesome and it was really and he, cool. I don't know how else to describe it. It was so cool. Like especially like Frankie being there to see it and everything and Frankie wasn't able to, you know, he makes it to the bridge but he hits the landmine that um Fandom what's his face? Yeah, that Fandom puts down and everything, you know. And just as Robin's about to be taking off, uh, you know, uh, into the gates of justice, he takes the shot and just boom, Fandom <laughs> has like an explosion in his face. It was face. way cooler in the manga than it was in the anime. That yeah. the page spread was awesome. It's great. The way he beat, it. and then Robin realizes who it is, and she's like, "Oh, lock." <laughs> It was like so good, and you know before there's a before Frankie and Usopp come to Robin's rescue, uh, like Robin is trying her best not to go through uh, the game. Uh, yeah. I had to put down my phone. Uh, <laughs> she was biting the edge of the concrete bridge after uh, getting her hair pulled out, and I put mm-hmm. down my phone to cringe, like oh. out of pain. I was like, I need to stop reading. Oh. This is absolutely brutal no yeah why and... stop it <laughs> <laughs> no and then after she does that like uh, spandom is like what are you fighting for they're not coming for you they're all gonna die blah 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 and he's trying to be like your people are dead and everybody loves dead and because his dad was there right so his mm-hmm. he knows mm-hmm. like the story and then she says I'm still alive like she tells him through tears you know I forgot that that happened where she's yeah. like you know, before she was saying, I want to die, right, to Luffy. And then she's saying to Luffy, I want to live. And then he's trying to, like, manipulate her emotionally. But the the walls have already come down, and she she wants to live. So she says, I'm still... And the fact that she says that, like, even if she went to Impel Down, even if all of that happened, she would be like, I'm still alive now, right? Mm-hmm. It's just that determination to, to go back with them and... Like as long as you're still alive, you can do what what you need to do, you know. Yeah, no, for sure. And yeah. that was a really powerful moment. And the fact that she held on long enough for Frankie and Usopp to reach her, so it's like everybody came together to save Robin. And it's not just like the individual people; like everybody had to work together, including Robin, to get her to safety. Mm. Right. It like... makes her not feel like a damsel in distress in this yeah. sort of arc. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it, it can kind of feel. Uh, these sorts of arcs can be hit or miss with having like a female character that you need to go save and all that, but it's it's really it doesn't come off that way in this arc, you know. Like, uh, initially she doesn't want to be saved, and then, you know, eventually after being like honest with herself and honest with the crew, you know, everyone is like doing their damnedest to save her, and then, you know, she does her best, and then. <laughs> Spandom, the absolute idiot he is, <laughs> calls in a buster call on himself and broadcasts <laughs> his whole conversation to the entire island, which I, amounts I, to, I I'm super just... duper evil and don't have any yeah. value for human life and zero concept of my actions having consequences, blah, 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 blah. I love um, how Robin told everybody to run hmm. in the call. Like, it didn't matter who it was. Right. Yeah, well, was... she understands. She's yeah. like, I don't care if you're a Marine or what. You're going to die. Get out. <laughs> I love that he's Get just an incompetent moron. Like, he's dumb. He can't do anything. He's super weak in a fight. Uh, mm. And yet he's still a really fun antagonist. I love how even in the One Piece world, trust fun kids still exist. <laughs> <laughs> they are a plague even in the One Piece world. <laughs> yeah, because he has his job because his dad. That's it. Yeah. I, I, like, it. The, anta- the main antagonist is the government. Yeah. <laughs> not, that's not surprising. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but uh i have other things but they're they're less related so let's talk more about the direct arc any anything else 
Well, I have a lot to say about just, like, Luffy. Like, sure. towards the start of the Luffy-Lucci fight, right? Like, Luffy goes for a throw on, on Lucci and then tries to run for the door to just, like, grab Robin from Spandom. Like, I love that moment. It's showing, like, he's at least trying to, like, you know, do the thing that we'd all be yelling, like, why didn't he just grab Robin? Like, why not just beeline for robin he's so stupid for not trying to and it's really nice to just see him like use his head in a fight like that right like it it feels good to see like a competent uh fighter and a character in a in, in media doing the thing that we always yell like why didn't you do x y and z <laughs> you know like he's actually doing it um and then obviously everything about like gear two it's so cool. He's he's slowly killing himself for a power boost. It's, <laughs> it's like I love the mechanics behind it is that he's doping himself by mm. increasing his blood flow. Yeah. And his blood pressure is super super high. Like that he's the the one thing I don't like that the manga didn't do that I like that the anime the anime makes him have like this pinkish color. I think I talked about it last time. Yeah, yeah, and he has like steam coming off of him and yeah. the pink, yeah. Yeah, but the the manga just makes him smoky, uh, which he oh, it's hard have to have like that tint. Yeah. Oh, you read colored, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard to do that in black and white. Right. Uh, but I do like the smoke. It's more defined in the manga, and it makes it look more cool, more artistic. Like fits mm -hmm. into the scene better, I guess. Um. But yeah, that's my only complaint about Gear Second. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I, I like how we see sort of like gear three is clearly weaker for a fight against like a strong opponent than gear two because it's so slow, right? And then the massive drawback of him becoming tiny after using it, right? So like we see the strategical uh, or like the strategic yeah, that was, like uh, something. Yeah, but there's like the usefulness of both forms and uh, you know. I like the differences between the two and showing how, like, okay, well, this is useful here, this isn't, you know. Um, so against a bunch of Marines, Gear 3 is useful. Against Lucci, it's not. <laughs> yeah, and it's it's Gear 2nd is what defeats Lucci in the end, not even Gear 3rd. Yeah, because it, it, you're not going to hit him. <laughs> He's too fast. He's too fast. <laughs> He's a cheetah. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, Either or. <laughs> He's a cat. Yeah. He's a big old fluffy cat. And then both of those forms just show off like how imaginative Luffy is when it uses his fruit. You know, like who else would be like, I'm gonna pump the blood in my body. Well, honestly, I doubt Luffy thought about the bio mechanics of Gear <laughs> Two, but like, you know, <laughs> however he ended up using like creating Gear Two, he did it. And then Gear Three, only Luffy would be like, what if I just blow air into my thumb? <laughs> into his bones more specifically is what he's doing is it his bones yes oh wow um because then you see that air kind of like yeah he shifts not, it he shifts it but it's not Stretchy like bones. i guess i i guess i don't know how i would describe it um mm -hmm. but it doesn't feel like it's from his skin it feels like it's from the center of his leg which is probably his bone right yeah i get this the way it's drawn i guess i don't know it doesn't feel like a balloon. It feels like a, a balloon within a balloon, if that makes sense. No, yeah. I mean, I the way I always picture it was like he's moving air into his, like, like just under his thumb and then sort of shifting it where he wants it. Because we, we've seen he's able to, like, when it's in his arm, move it to, like, a different part of his body. You know what I mean? I'm, like, 95% um, sure it's in his bones. Yeah, that would make sense because it's harder. Um... But it's it's Luffy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he figured out some way to to figure it out, you know. But hmm. anything else before we get to? Uh, oh, what's her name? The Mary. Mary Mermaid. Remember? Oh yeah, Kokoro's mm -hmm. a mermaid. Oh yeah. <laughs> and she's still Anyways. with the group <laughs> for but, some reason. And she, uh, I don't... That kind of makes sense, though, right? Tom Stan died because of if the government, you so she's say helping so. Them. <laughs> well, Tom's a fish, man. Yeah. Why can't she be a mermaid? Right. I guess you have points. Yeah. 
Why is she a mermaid? Why can't though? mermaids be a thing? Well, because, uh, why not? <laughs> yeah, that's fair, you know? That's a good point. Yeah. Well, speaking of reminders, remember when uh, Robin beats the crap out of Spandam? That was good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he cracked his spine, and then she slapped him repeatedly. Yeah, that was really good. I a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the Mary then, Go is a yeah. boat. It is a sentient boat. Oh, guys, what do yeah. you think about the part where Usopp is calling to Luffy before he his final charge? Oh yeah, that was good. That was good. I I oh, like how they handled yes, Usopp's character. That was arc. good. I was worried he'd get some power up before coming back. Uh, he's so still I'm, I'm a weak very, bitch. I'm very happy he is. <laughs> I'm very happy he's a loser still. He's still my, Usopp. My <laughs> Love him. <laughs> Don't make those synonymous. <laughs> <laughs> Chopper got the power up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I thought that moment was really powerful. It was. It, it was just, very nice. And I had forgotten it when I went Same. to reread. So I saw him take off his mask and I was like, wait, what is he doing? And you know, Luffy's was... like, Usopp! <laughs> <laughs> what are you what doing, are you doing here, bro? <laughs> Where'd Sogi King go? Oh. <laughs> the actual panel was really good as well. Uh, the jump into the and sea he... panel with the two ships on either side. Mm. Yeah. And then he tells he tells Luchi to come and attack him. He's like, I'll take you on, you cat bastard. <laughs> and Luffy's like, no, you don't know how crazy like, You will is. die in two <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Please, dear God, no. And then... <laughs> Well, and then Usopp's like, well, get up then. <laughs> yeah. Stop like... lying down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought was really awesome, because it's like, that's the only way to motivate Luffy is if one of his friends are in danger, right? It's just mm -hmm. like, what a manipulative little <laughs> lie Usopp told, yeah. but that's his role. His role is to know what to do at what specific times, right? Just mm -hmm. like how Sanji opened the gate, closed the gates of justice. So that, that was really cool. That was that was back. probably like Diablo Jam and that were his best moments by far. Like that mm -hmm. was great. They would have not escaped without him yeah. doing that. Like uh, he, he did didn't fight at all mm -hmm. at the end there. And then we're like, where did Sanji go? And then they're able to escape at the end because of him. Mm. Sanji's thinking long term. Sanji's the best. I love him. Yeah. Cool. Looking through my uh like screenshots another oh. thing i liked was right after that when sanji and zoro used luffy as a like spring to bounce <laughs> back the cannonballs yeah and then they do the v <laughs> very good very good me, that me and my siblings we we do that moment a lot all the time. <laughs> literally all the time we mention it <laughs> we do something stupid we say we we do the little piece of it it's awesome <laughs> try to find which, uh, so as they were fighting the 200 elite, um, the 200 elite, uh, what's it called? Navy soldiers there. Mm -hmm. the, they're all like captains or lieutenants, right? Yep. And the... Specifically all of, um, cigar guys, uh... Level. They said that, but they, then they, they said lieutenants them... as well, which meant that, like, it's it's Tashigi's right now. I think there are some of them, and there are 200 of guys on of Cigar's level. Is what oh, okay. Smoker, by the way. Smoker, that's what it is. Uh, yeah. One of my favorite characters. I, I miss um, uh, and uh, something that happened is uh, one of Zoro's swords was destroyed. Yubashiri oh, was yeah. destroyed, which is a Meito right. sword. You know, uh, it's the sword that the guy in Loketown gave him for free. It is. He got it a free Meito sword, and he got it destroyed. It kills me every time. <laughs> the dude touched the sword, and it just crumbled to pieces. Don't it worry. It's like the rust rust fruit or something. Yeah. Don't worry, though. It was not Queen's sword. <laughs> nope. We still got he that one, and it wasn't the cursed here. one. So he still got the cursed one and Queen's yeah, sword. Yeah, but I love Dubashiri. Yeah, even Shiri you, is cool. We gotta Yubashiri get him a new like one next arc. My favorite. <laughs> I think it's one of my favorite swords that Zoro has. Just because, like, it has that that guy from Loketown, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it is very unfortunate that, uh, if I had to pick stupid one, Zoro getting, getting <laughs> Mato's destroyed. Well, I, obviously, if you have to yeah. pick one, you pick that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
What do you think, like, he'll get to replace it, Agro? Like, uh, think he'll just... You know those legendary swords? How many of them are there? So there's there's 50 of, like, the one skillful grade, which is what Yubashiri is. There's 12 supreme grade. Not one of those. Not yet. Uh, There are... Are there... Tw there's 21 great grade. Maybe. Um, Which is the Wado Ichimonji. That's Kuina's sword. Oh, okay. And yeah, then... That, that doesn't... Uh, there's like the Sandai Kitetsu, which is Zoro's other sword, is like just a grade sword. I don't know how many of those there are. I think there might be like a hundred something or whatever. I don't know if they're, they're, those are numbered, but his his cursed sword. Get a cool new sword. Yeah. Big brain theories here. He he probably will. We'll have to wait and see. How long do you think it'll take him to get it? Uh, pretty fast. Pretty fast. Zoro needs was will be in a couple fights. Not next arc, the one after that. Yep. Very specific. I'm thinking about what the next arc is. The next arc is. Oh God, you're gonna. Well, the next arc is is poke is post um. Uh... I mean, the one after that. All oh, right. Yeah. This this is Sanji's worst arc. You're gonna hate him more, Iron. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's, let's move on up. But subjects. Uh, the boat. I want to talk about the boat. Yeah. Okay, Agro, go ahead and get your I shitty uh, like opinions out of the way. Uh, it's, yeah. it's, it's kind of dumb. I wish they had set it up better. Um, <laughs> they did! Mm, did they? The illusion's gonna fight you. Did they actually they? did. They literally talked to Frankie with Usopp about the spirit of the boat. They talked about the name of the spirit and yeah, how it did. talked to them and they repaired itself on the Sky Island. You know what? I will. I will give it that. I they liked even it. They it up in the filler arc. I liked it. Remember? And they, did. <laughs> they didn't. They didn't keep him around. They didn't keep Mary. Mary go like going. It was a one-time thing. So I like it. It was a good plot thing. What's gonna replace the Mary? A cooler boat. <laughs> wow! Wow! Do we know what Real happened nice to Lady Agro. Roger's boat? Our captain. This is our captain speaking. Yeah. Keep your hands and feet inside the ride as there are no hot takes on this. <laughs> Keep your hands and feet inside the cooler boat, which they will get very soon. Probably made by uh, the cool guys who make boats. Lucia, did you cry when Mary burned? <laughs> yeah, Agro's stupid as hell. <laughs> it's a boat! It it's was a, a boat. Like, there were cool fights. You're so stupid. I hate I you so much. Luffy. It's just a boat. <laughs> That Luffy didn't say it's just a boat. He's he was okay. he was Look, I he was crying. Usopp. It's just a boat. I mean, you can cry over a boat, but like you can get but a cool. Mary boat. is a crew member. Mary a is as much of a crew member as as Vivi. More of a crew member than Vivi. I'm dying. Boo! Guys. Bad takes. Now I'm angry. <laughs> this actual takes. It's factual. It's a boat. He was on the crew longer than Vivi. Yes, that's true. Mary was on the crew. Uh, than no. If we count, Mary was only sentient for less time. <laughs> Mary became sentient because of all of their adventures together, Agro. I thought Mary became sentient in the sky. Well, it's not a matter of becoming sentient. Wait. It's a matter of, like, boats don't become sentient, Aggro. Well, yeah. <laughs> like, no, ever. You know how everyone was like, why is the Wait, boat I, talking? Did I miss that? Did it just happen for no reason? No. It... Oh, I like it less now. <laughs> what? I thought it happened because of the forest in the sky. Or whatever. No, it, it happened because, like... <laughs> okay. They, they explain this whole thing. <laughs> occasionally uh -huh. when when boats are very grateful to their crew and they go on many long journeys they can uh spawn uh, a, a spirit i forget the name it's uh -huh. a german type of name okay. and uh it, it can you know it's extraordinarily exceedingly rare no one at the whole like galley log company had ever seen of it like seen it they had only heard uh -huh. like stories yeah. of it, and uh, they they saw it with the Barry. <laughs> okay. The Barry was talking and thanking the crew, and everyone could hear it, which I thought was surprising. Like everyone at Galila witnessed 
the Mary yeah, that was, that was good. saying goodbye, which was very nice. Look, I'll take it so, if at some point we get a boat character who is actually a character and does things outside of once or twice. Like I want, like I want to meet a boat that is like the captain of its crew. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Look, just because they become sentient doesn't mean they become nice. <laughs> It's not like that it becomes sentient, I it's a spirit. Give me the antagonist boat. I want the boat to be the villain of an arc. <laughs> Luffy fight the boat. Wait, Usopp can fight the boat. He can do that. Okay. Or Nami. She can fight a boat. Nami would be the best choice for fighting a boat, yeah. Lightning. <laughs> I'm smart. But as, as cool as all those fights were... Uh-huh. That moment was by far the most hype. It, it comes up, it saves the crew one last time. The whole goodbye sequence had me tearing up with the crew. I found it like super cool that not only the Straw Hats could hear it, but the Galley Law members. And that Iceberg was the one to like repair it. You know? Like, that he heard cool. the Merry really ask to like repair that, it. Like, the Merry asked Iceberg to repair it. After, after Iceberg and Galley Law was like, it's cruel to repair the Merry. Like, it would be cruel to make the Mary make another voyage. We're not repairing it. Uh, it She cannot make another voyage. And then after getting them out of danger, it falls apart in half. <laughs> you know, like the send off, the burning, uh, you know, it was very sea. beautiful. Yes. Um, Safwayam, please sure. cleanse me of our captain's <laughs> atrocious takes. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the captain anymore. I've just, I've just been enjoying <laughs> this entire... This podcast will just be you guys fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Um, Wait till we do the, the... Clannad podcast. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, the first time I watched Mary die was I was 12, maybe. And it was me... And my sister, and you know, the anime does it better. To be honest, it. Well, yeah, it's like actually talking. Yeah. Safley and... likes something better in the anime. <laughs> Take a shot Shocking. every Shocking. time. <laughs> it's they that, and uh, so I dislike Sanji. Uh, what's what's <laughs> Lucian's? Lucian mediates. <laughs> <laughs> well not this time he, this time he did not mediate oh. <laughs> um, but it was I don't know as a 12 year old girl it's it's hard to, to I'll do it to you not... yeah <laughs> I've been told before you know, emotions get manipulated mm -hmm. yes. you know over time especially with their fight, like Usopp and Luffy's fight, next to the Mary and how the Mary cried when that mm -hmm. happened. So it just like, and me and my sister cried when that happened too. So it's just, you know, you get the Mary, you get her, cause she's you. You know, yeah. you want to be part of the crew, but you can't, because you're mm. not. The up boat to is far. a viewer insert. <laughs> is an audience it's Lucian? A, yeah you just is there a sekai where the person's sekai into a boat <laughs> you would know uh not that i have read officially Whoa. on like a light novel but i would have to guess that somewhere on shosatsuka ninaru which is like the japanese web novel site where all light novels are birthed from probably uh, i see we'll have to find it <laughs> yeah do an it's now. basically, you know, archives of our own for Japanese people. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I guess if we're going down that route, like <laughs> Mary's death is getting us ready to say goodbye to the crew whenever the story is over, you know? You can't keep going with them forever. We can't keep we can't mm -hmm. keep this adventure going forever, you know. Mm -hmm. Don't so, lie to me, Saffo. Yes we can. <laughs> if we take enough if we take enough breaks it will. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, but the rate we're going, it will go forever. <laughs> yeah, so it's just Mary's death is really sad. Um, I I cried a bit this time around mm. reading it. 
It was drawn really well. I think Oda is really good at drawing fire and smoke. Mm -hmm. Um, And Mm -hmm. this was predominantly fire and smoke. So you just, it makes you really emotional. Apparently, fun fact, Oda cried when he drew that scene. Really? So, yeah. Wow. So it's not just us, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just cold, heartless bastards like our captain. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know who else would appreciate me and agree with me on this? No one. Eminem. <laughs> what? Uh- uh, who is, in fact, having a much more interesting plot than this uh, One Piece story I hear about. Where he's on the oh my moon. God, you're paying attention to the cover story! I wasn't, uh, and then he finally. showed up. Character development! Good, I was gonna ask if you've been paying attention for I, the last no, few No, I have no idea what happened in the other ones, at all. That's but fine. Th- that Whatever. As, as long as you're paying attention to as his. As he showed up, and he landed on the moon, and we landed on a yeah. cliffhanger. The last chapter was, and he, he heard something in the crater on the moon. <laughs> We're about to discover aliens. Yeah. He's about to discover uh, alien life. Yeah, this M&M. is literally the only important... I don't know his real name, by the way. I don't remember him. For our viewers who are also confused. <laughs> oh, yeah. Enel or Eneru or whatever his actual, like, um, you know, official the name Earlobes is. Earlobes guy yes. from Sky Island. Yes. Skype a god. Series. That guy. Skype he a just, president. He just wants yeah. a, a of Skype lightning world. man. Looks up at the moon and sees a perfect world. Yeah. He said, I'm going to go there. And did. And, and landed did. on the moon. And there you can breathe in space. <laughs> cool. Good to establish yeah. early. Maybe mm-hmm. it's because of his Logia type, because we do see the. Pa- oh. But there are other. Li- there are possibly other living creatures. And keep I in mind. Oil something for you. I cool. caught my. Phone. I have no idea what the. Keep in mind, by the way. So it works. The we've discussed in the past. Cover stories are canon. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah, they are. Just I think the dumbest thing we the anime mm-hmm. never capitalized on was animating cover stories as filler, like. Yeah, because then literally, characters just like show up again later. Like, it's like, how? Know, why are works? you here? How, I My do brain? cover stories as the uh, like catch in in between the in the middle of the episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do. Yeah, I guess sometimes no, they don't even do a whole chapter. No, Toei's a piece of trash, and they don't <laughs> care about anything. Ever. I hate them so much. They literally, care about money. They mm. even literally like later down the line, they do animate like one cover story. They do do that because it's very integral to the plot at that point. But they never do it after that. Curious which, which really cover story? Frustrating. I'll let you know, Lucian, later. Yeah. Find out. But um. It, it's so annoying. You literally have a recipe for you have big arcs, and then in between the big arcs, we have these cover stories. Why don't you just animate them? Like the Ace cover story is just like funny stuff, like, and that's what One Piece is. Like, just do that. Just and you literally have it right there. Why don't you use it? <laughs> wow, it okay. can be really hard to follow some. Like, I've never heard the you on... that passionate ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Like, in some of the ongoing arcs, I have trouble, like, remembering and keeping up with, like, uh, cover stories, because it's, like, weekly, like, remembering, like, 40 cover stories. It's like, uh, you lost me, Oda. I'm sorry. So wouldn't it be perfect (laughs) if the anime animated it and added a story to it? It Wouldn't that be perfect? And people would be like, hey, I should go watch the anime, because they made this cover story that's complicated, and they made it super easy for me to digest! (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> you are peeking your mic. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That would be nice. I would agree. <gasps> well, let's move on. Uh, before we get <laughs> before we get too heated, I have I have of course the second. I believe second. Uh, third. It is the third results of the third One Piece character popularity oh, yeah. poll. Uh, we'll go in it's reverse gonna be order. Luffy, Zoro, Sanji. We'll do some highlights in reverse order. Uh, ninety-nine, Mister One. <laughs> I forgot. I don't know who he is. I, do, I don't cool. remember Mister One at all. Um, Mister One is the guy that Zoro fights in Alabasta. Mm, at eighty-eighth place is our favorite. Our our favorite <laughs> character, Kuina. Still on. Still <laughs> still kicking. She's still probably the last time she'll be on this poll. I don't think she'll make it another one. 
Nah, bro, she Queen has got a lock. Character development. <laughs> um, 69th place is uh, Holly the dog. Hashtag resurrect Queen Holly yes. the who? There's a dog named Holly. Apparently. Who? When? I don't know. It's a dog. It's a good <laughs> Can you um, <laughs> send me a photo, please? I don't remember. Oh, I'll is this the dog later. from that? No, that's not I, the dog from. Remember. That's not the dog from Buggy's Ark. I don't think. No. No, a Choo Choo is the dog. Yeah, that's Choo Choo. Round around has a tongue wiggling out. Google it. <laughs> uh, sixty fifth place is Chicken. Yep. <laughs> You're lying. Who, no, it's no, he he's who not. Says he, he is not. I'm looking at it. It's a uh, who's uh, chicken? It's just a chicken. Listen, it is just a chicken. The, the votes that on these are genuinely frame. just like meme votes. Like <laughs> there was a chicken that was in a frame. Uh, that says chirp. Let's see. Uh, number uh, uh number uh right right uh, above him by the way is uh Mayor Boodle, at 66th place. Um. Let's see who else we got. Uh, 61st place is... I feel like this is one that's going to um, be one of those... Wow, remember when this character was this low? Don uh, Do Flamingo? Don Quixote Do Flamingo? Yeah, 61st place. Holy crap. 61st? Mm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yep. He, uh, he did you see his walk? not anything yet, except stand there mostly <laughs> he beat I, the hell out of bellamy and had the sickest cool. walk in one mm. piece he's he had like cool, the but... most swagger of any character so far in the two pages he got <laughs> wait um, are you going by number of votes or like he's he's really going by like first? bottom placement yeah, bottom to placement top. to top he's 64 so he had... first place out of a hundred how many votes <laughs> I mean, they, they don't, they don't go don't. by votes yeah. on oh, okay. like below uh, yeah. we'll, we'll forty or by below fiftieth. Yeah. I apologize. Um, Keep going. Above fifty eighth place, so four above him. The uh, Tyrannosaurus. Um, Not a dinosaur, by the way. It looks no, like a it, chupacabra. Uh, yeah. Uh, number fifty first place, Kung Fu Jugon. <laughs> Bro, like don't seal? tell me you forgot the Kung Fu Jugon. I forgot the Kung Who? Fu Jugon. Dude. They're the, they're the Luffy's. Yeah, they're Luffy's disciples. He he fights them, and then uh, they're like, "We will follow you to the ends of the earth, master." Oh, yeah. And they have to bribe them with food, and then they I come back and that. save them later. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I remember they were cool. Kung Fu Jugons. Fifty yeah. fourth place, my man oh. Kobe. My boy. <laughs> Kobe's the best. He will return. Oh, you cool. said you're doing this like in order, but you're right, going like fifty first, fifty fourth. I'm just saying some highlights. I'm not listening to all the <laughs> hundred. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, I know. What do you want me to say? The ones between them, no, Koza skip. and no, Kokoro? no, no. Skip. Uh, Gamora, fifty fifth place, which looks like a horse from yeah. Marvel. There, no, Sodom <laughs> and Gamora, like uh, the the horses. I forgot that they existed. Yeah. Like uh, the bull horses or whatever they're called. At... Oh right! Everybody from Frankie's crew is alive. Remember, they did like yeah. a out. Oh yeah, they yeah. I guess one of the Frankie Rose is like, "Yo, what about Big Bro Frankie and the Straw Hats?" And Polly's like, "No, nah, they're invincible. Don't worry." <laughs> um... They have plot armor, unlike yeah. us. <laughs> At forty seventh place with. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop it! Okay, no. I didn't skip anything. I literally did not skip anything. You said forty seventh before fiftieth. Said... Um. Oh, I'm missing. Oh, so you're right. I did. Oh, sorry. I thought I was thinking it was the other order. Sorry. No, that's what I was oh. giving you a hard okay, time for. Thank you. I'm sorry. I, I thought that was. Uh, These like are the only three, three that matter. Okay, it's... Mary Go at number 50. And then the Club Otterman at 49th, which is the spirit of the Mary Go. And, and then 48th Club. is Oda. Yep. And 47th, Karu. Um. On top of that, we have is Edward Newgate. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I feel like that's another one of character that will never be this low ever again. Mm -hmm. Is uh, Ed, or it might maybe I don't know how how long it takes until he gets good. He's only higher than Carew the duck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yep. He's and right right above him, more popular by um one vote, Mister Nine. <laughs> I don't think we even fight Mr. Nine. Nope, don't think no, so. he was Robin's partner. Uh, or, sorry, Vivi's partner. Vivi's partner, my bad. Oh, yeah, because she's Miss Wednesday. I forgot. Yes. Uh, not much else. In, uh, 31st place is Panda Man. Yeah, 31st place Panda Man. 
Then yeah, we get is to more popular than Ed- Edward Dugate. Spandam was uh twenty sixth, twenty uh, eighth place. Sorry. Band-Dam? Oh, sorry, sorry. I skipped over number thirty. Buggy. Buggy's <laughs> number thirty. Buggy's gonna be the pirate Listen. king. Um, he is. Uh, number twenty fifth still crocodile. He making it in there. Hmm. It is due. My boy. Bon twenty uh, first. Yeah, Bon. Bon Clay. Clay. And Aru, number 22. Keep it in. Keep it in there. Now we get to the good characters that people like. For real. Um, Vivi, number 15. I feel like she's just going to continue to uh, descend, sadly. Uh, I, who's Kazan? I forget. Uh, he is the friend. ice uh, uh, yeah, vice yeah, yeah. admiral. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 14th place, what? Smoker, let's go. Who's on? Smoker. Uh, the Vice Admiral. Oh, oh, you're talking about what's his name from Alabasta. That's why no. I said boyfriend. <laughs> Vivi's boyfriend, I meant. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> not, not Admiral Kuzan, the ice guy. No, <laughs> definitely not. That'd be a weird pairing. <laughs> Write the fanfic now. Uh, number 13, yeah, Frankie. Koza. Frankie number 13. And number 11, Shanks, somehow. Somehow he hey, can bro, just Shanks be cool. there and do you should be literally higher. nothing and be there. Whatever. Justice for Shanks. Number 10, another character who's done almost literally nothing, uh, Ace. Ace? He he's had a is Ace, Rufy. man. Cool. Ace's his older brother. Uh, he's cool. Eight, uh, eighth place is uh, Dracul Mihawk. Mihawk. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, and and then we get to the wow, who who gets shot? Number six, Usopp. Number seven, Nami. <laughs> Left four, to right. <laughs> four, oh, uh, uh, whatever. Seven, Nami. Six, Usopp. It's weird reading left to right. Okay. I know. Um, I know. <laughs> Nico Nico Robin, number five, somehow below Chopper. Somehow, and somehow above him is Sanji, and above him Yay! is Zoro. And above him I is Luffy. <laughs> Top three is Luffy, Santi, Zoro. Of course, it's yeah. going to be the three of them for the entirety of the run. You think so? Uh, well, I mean, I think Sanji could be out depending on the arc. If we're focused on another Straw Hat or, uh, you know, we get a cooler guy. But I think Zoro and Luffy, uh, I would bet money that the two of them are the top two in every single one of these. May- they yeah. might switch between which one is which. But they will be the top two. You think someone will be at Luffy? Zoro. No. Zoro might Zoro might get above Luffy, but that's what I'm saying is mm-hmm. the two of them they might swap between themselves, but they will have spots one and two. One of those two will always be one and two. So when was this popularity poll taken? Like when did they start it? Oh, uh, well, it came out in like the English thing, uh, uh, like the English. Uh, published thing at some point so i have no idea when it was like taken okay i don't think they do but maybe aha uh is there a date on this there is not yeah no no dates live streaming post any slobby uh i think probably we should get back (laughs) into the swing of things before we do that Oh, That's come fair. on. Mm-hmm. What? Why Look, not? Well, we may have It'll be like a review months. of the whole series. It'll be like a re-review. We'll talk about it later. Uh, <laughs> off, off recording. But really uh, there is one more thing I wanted to talk about before we mm. ended so today. Well, actually, no. Let's rank it first. Because it's not really this arc that I want to talk about. One. Uh, wow. Okay. Cool. Uh, <laughs> ten. What? Shut up! It's Wait, one. no. I, Bro, you had, had it so much higher that. before. Sorry, let me change that. I'm gonna seven. You're lying. No. Hard to drop so what much one was after Karate? the the Sanji cook one. Oh, like, are you okay. serious? Sanji's introduction uh, arc. Our, uh, oh wait, no. Let me. Uh, not five. Five. I'm okay. This I podcast had to think about is it. over. I hadn't thought I about it. I'm putting it at five. Do this. I'll wait. I'm sorry. There is no. No. Wait. No. It would be. It would be below Skypea, basically, is where I want it. 
I see you're changing it as we speak, which is why the numbers are confusing. But yes, I would put Alabasta, Water 7, Skypea, and, and Arlong above it. I will it. be back. Oh, no. <laughs> well, then. Uh, would you like to talk about the game? That is the other thing I wanted to bring I up. I can... Uh, oh, I, I thought you were... Oh, you're not actually leaving. Me. I thought you were actually <laughs> leaving. I was like, no. oh, I guess we should wait. I said, uh. I'll be right back. Wait. This is blasphemy. Okay, okay, I see. Uh. I was... You said... I thought you were... You were saying, I'll be right back, correct? Yes. Okay. Did you guys finish recording? <laughs> no. I thought no. you were... Like, I, I... Okay, sorry. This was a confusing <laughs> section. I probably will edit it out. Deal with it. Um, <laughs> the last thing I wanted to talk about was uh, Lucian has played One Piece Odyssey, and I want opinions. I have played. No, why are you opinions. ranking it fifth place? Because that's where I ranked it. Stop being weird. No. You serious? Yes. This is not a joke. Lucian. I put it first. What do you mean? Listen, I'm not. That's him. I already did. He changed it from seventh to fifth. Well, I just actually ch <laughs> ten to seven to fifth. That's true. Yeah. I can't even. What? Oh. I think he's for forgetting the first part. No, I remember uh, it a good bit. That's what's keeping it so high. That's fair. God. I'm like gonna go throw up a little bit and then okay, let's be hear sick what, for a little let's bit. Let's hear what Lucian has to say about One Piece Odyssey before we before I'm we, gonna have to go like take drugs maybe. <laughs> <laughs> like Iron, what? Have okay. I seemed po super positive <laughs> on it? You did initially. I did. Yeah. In the first arc. What? The first half. Sorry. Uh, God. I can't even. Okay, own piece out of solution. Go. Uh, I've played only like eight hours. I'm like halfway through Alabasta because it is so tedious and long. Everything. It's like mm. here's the location. Anyway, go back. <laughs> anyway, here here's the next part. Go back. And uh, it could be fun, but uh, it. They're making things take too long. <laughs> uh, the combat is very simplistic. I wish there was a hard mode. Um, let's see. What else? I, I, I'm excited to see where it goes. But, like, it's it's too slow and tedious right now. Um, so, I, I suppose I will, I will update when I have completed more. Cool. But in the first eight-ish, nine-ish hours of the game, very so and tedious. <laughs> okay, glad I didn't think, glad I can't buy it, because I probably would have if I was caught Yeah, up. do not, because uh, the, you, Understood. many spoilers. Like, spoilers for, like, beyond the four arcs Yes, covered. I do know the, like, like, concept of what the game is about. I just don't know details. Yeah, but there's, there's like, spoilers for, like, relatively mm. current... Uh, content. Really? But, yes. Yeah. I the, was. I thought it was just uh, Ennis Lobby in Alabasta. No, the, the um, no, no, I, no, no. I know well, how how much I know at least is it is about the current crew going back in like they go to an island and for reasons their ma their magic stuff happens and they have to hmm. redo. Uh, they lose arcs. powers, yeah. and they have to like go through memories to regain those powers. But with the up to crew. the impel down arc, um, and so uh, that leads to, you know, uh, you would think it only goes up that far. It does not. Uh, well, no, I mean that's probably, it's that's it's the... not like a current crew. It's not actually the oh. current crew. It, it is. Um, wow. it, it, one, there's a crewmate member. Uh, there's a crew member missing. Uh, two, mm. I think it's like the the bounties are off. So I, I don't know exactly where it takes place. Mm. Uh, the so I, I'm not sure exactly at what point in time it takes place, but um, it, it is far, like far, but not uh not current. Because <laughs> mm, when they were talking about that, 
like or descri- that plot it like the thing that sounds interesting about that to me is the uh the char- characters who were there uh seeing like going through that again and seeing what they think of it now after character development and characters who were not there getting to see the other Cruzol adventures. Oh. So far that hasn't happened. Well, I'm glad <laughs> I didn't buy it. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. apparently it goes up to at least chapter nine hundred ish. Oh boy. The the like mm-hmm. yeah spoilers and stuff. So cool. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's that's crazy. Mm-hmm. That's literally just like the last um, arc. <laughs> the heck? Yeah. This game's weird. <laughs> I'm not buying it. It's too expensive. Yeah. But yeah. I will yeah. update you guys. Uh when I play through more. <laughs> yeah. Please do. Maybe we could do a live stream where Lucian plays we it. We will talk play about the... that later. <laughs> oh, well, I can't uh, many be there spoilers. for that. Yeah, I many can't spoilers. Oh. Even in the Albasta section? Yes. Interesting. <laughs> okay, never mind then. Yeah. Uh, Lucian, I have to go real quick if you want to lead us out or do whatever. Keep going if you want. I'll be back. Yeah, no, Maybe. I think we'll, we can lead us out. Yeah. Um, Thank you, everyone, for uh, listening into this week of uh, Under the Iron Flag. Uh, and we should be back uh, very soon uh, with the post Ennius Lobby arc. So, um, yeah, we will figure out the specifics of <laughs> how that I really happens. <laughs> but uh, that will be 11 chapters. Um, I believe it's... Uh, let me check real quick. Uh, I just had it up. Sorry. You know what's um, funny is we could talk about those eleven chapters for like two hours. Yeah, no, it, it'll have a lot. <laughs> uh, it's chapters four thirty one to four forty one. So, yeah, if you would like to read ahead to uh, be all caught up, then that is the uh, chapters for next week. Thank you so much as always for for listening, and uh, yeah, we will see you. Uh, next week and or soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, have a good one. I'm going to go kill Iron for his ranking. Um, <laughs> and we'll be back with just me and Lucian. <laughs> <laughs> we are mutiny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I agree. Mutiny. Yeah. Overthrowing the captain. <laughs> Bye. See ya.